So, we have a short video here how to reduce the CPU load on your modded or not Minecraft server that you're running on your own PC. As you can see here that we have a server running here and it has 228 mods, right? And it is using anywhere here from 30 to 40 or more percent CPU usage with nobody logged on, right? Now, <clears throat> this could be causing your fans to speed up and run at 100% on some slower PCs than the one I'm using right now. For example, Core 2 Duo PC or some older i3 or i5 PC or some sketchy AMD CPU from a few years ago. Now I'm currently using an i7-8086K here, which is very fast for a consumer CPU. However, just running this server is using a lot of CPU. So if you had a slower CPU with less cores, it would be going at 100%. So how can we lower this? So first of all, we can close the Minecraft server, but I just want to show you that it's definitely running. So I'm going to load up Minecraft just here, and then I'm going to click on multiplayer and log on, right? So it's going to be localhost and the port that is required to join the server, right? And it will say in here that Brad is trying to connect. Now, for some reason, this um, this um, feed the beast package of revelations it always kicks the person the first time they try and log on, and then you try and log on the second time, and it works every time. <coughs> so, as we'll see, it's not responding. But we can also see that the CPU is going absolutely crazy now. We're trying to play at the same time as running a server, right? So we'll just wait for this to come back. As you can see now, the CPU is going absolutely mental. So as I said, the first time you don't get logged on, and then we try again, this time it will work. And here's the output that <coughs> Brad86 here is trying to connect. It's likely to let me connect this time. So we load it up. And it, Minecraft runs just fine. Right. but we have a lot of CPU usage now how can we get rid of that now if we disconnect I'm going to show you one way I found to reduce the CPU load of the server so we're going to minimize this because we're going to re-log on with the same mod so I'm going to close out of the Minecraft server And then in this folder, I have, this is the server that I'm running, right? So I'm gonna go back to this server folder and then I'm gonna press shift and right click and open PowerShell window here. Now, if you just right click without pressing shift, it's not there. So you need to press shift and then right click and open PowerShell window here, right? PowerShell looks like this. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna type in for it to run the um, server with no GUI like this. We would type in Java, jar, server, jar, no GUI. And this will tell the server jar to run with no GUI. And no GUI is no graphical user interface. So it's not gonna run that window that says Minecraft server. So let's type this in. So I'm gonna go Java, jar, server.jar and then no GUI and I'm going to press return and now it's going to load up the server as you see the CPU usage was nothing just before I did that now it will take a minute or so to load up the server but when it's done we should have a lot less than the original 40 plus CPU usage of just running the server so let's, let's give this a chance to get going Now, when you run it with no GUI, it actually loads up a lot faster. So it'd be interesting to actually try this on my uh, one of my other machines, a much slower machine, to see how much 
of an increase in performance that will also be. But 100%, the performance on this PC is insane. The the extra the extra um, CPU usage I have left for other things. So when this is finished, I will let you know. And then we'll connect up to it. So we're preparing the spawn area here. And now the server is loaded. So now our CPU usage for this will not lo no longer be in the Java platform binary. It will now be in Windows PowerShell down here. And it says it's using only 2% CPU instead of over 40%. That is absolutely nuts difference. This is the CPU hardly using any CPU after running no GUI. Now we can connect up to the server and see that it's just exactly the same. So I'm going to connect up to again localhost and the same port. Now I assume to get kicked the first time, but who knows. So here we are. We're now in game. We didn't get kicked that time. But if we let the CPU usage just settle for a second, after the login phase, we'll see that we're using up here 20% or less. So down here, the PowerShell is only using 2 or 3% of the CPU. The game of Minecraft just here is using about 13%. So more much more is for the game than the server now and now we see that we don't have 50 percent usage on all cores we have much less so i'm pretty confident that this trick will work on much slower cpus that's all for now thanks for listening